and minds who would like to remain untainted by visual and mental treason? If this doesn't apply to you, you've come to the right place. I have a confession to make! The motion picture Blues Brothers 2000 was actually not produced by the asylum. So I'm kind of breaking my own rules right now. But you know what they say about rules. They're made to construct order and reason to a chaotic society. They're... they're made to be broken. Announcer me, don't don't go all Confucius on me. However, Blues Brothers 2000 was actually requested by one of my oldest living subscribers, Mike and Ike, who well deserves a little bending of the natural order of things in order to show my overwhelming appreciation. He requested the original. Oh. Well, this is awkward. But hey, it's Christmas. We gotta live a little. Hook me up with some of that eggnog, bro. You do know it's not actually Christmas. Wait, what? But that, then why is Walmart selling all those Santa plushies? Merchandising. And, and Fred Myers with all the Christmas lights? Hawking for the season. All these YouTube ads saying it's just around the corner? Magnetizing your wallet. Will you seriously think big business would do that? Just, just go on the internet and tell lies? John the Revelator wrote the book of the seven seas. Who's that writing? Uh, John the Rebel is a tell me who's that writing? But, but, but this Rebel sounds so groovy! Why would someone carelessly slip a good song like this into a supposed train wreck of a movie? Uh So Justin Timberlake's suit and tie just got released from prison and he Wait, did he just use the space bar to zoom in on this camera? What kind of chaotic operation are they running here? And he decided he would look much cooler calmly waiting outside for 24 hours instead of just socially interacting to find out the information that he needs. Which is that his best friend is dead, by the way, in case you were wondering. And to start this comedy off on a lighter note, the entire rest of his band is also dead. This guy is like Captain America if he was musically inclined. Bro, bro, I understand you're emotional. L let me get your mind off that. Take this! <laughs> And that! And some of this! I know it seems I'm embellishing on this, but this is basically how it happens. Listen, I, I know you just got out of prison and you're probably having a mental stability collapse from all this. So here, have this orphaned kid. Ma'am, I'm probably the worst possible influence for this developing child's mind. hi -ya! Stop it! Bruh! Oh, shit. Stop it! Bruh! Okay! You'll hear from the authorities about this! See you in two hours, boys! I'm an authority. Oh, hey, your mom's an adulterer. You're actually a brother of a bunch of criminals. Also, your career choice I find stupid. Wanna join our band? I think you need a hug. Oh. And don't ever come back here again! Jeez, there's just no respect in this place. Did you get his wallet? You're a natural. Trust me, your criminal career has just begun. Come on, let's buy a cop car and mock his profession. Cops love that sort of thing. At which point, Mr. Blues decides it's about time this 10-year-old child becomes a man and takes him to a... How do I say this? Um, gentleman's club? So the kid's like, homina, 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 homina. and the guy's like, oh yeah, you're 10. And puts him two rows back. More like Mr. Responsibility. Then Russians show up. So Mr. Blues goes up to a guy he's known for about five seconds and says, hey, you want to start World War Three? I thought you'd never ask. When your movie doesn't have conflict, you make conflict, gosh darn it. Listen, Willie, you gotta understand. Those goons are orphan remnants of the post-perestroika Soviet secret police apparatus, which until 1991 carried out its twisted interpretation of the original well-intentioned well, Marxist-Leninist doctrine vis-a-vis -vis state security, which was massively corrupted by La Renta Beria in the 30s. Of course, once a mass populace is coerced into such behavior as a permanent condition, a radical didactic dialectic shift such as Glasnost produces guys like these, stunned headless automata whose only alternative in their new lives is the continuation of brutish measures to which their genetic code has been programmed since the fall of the Romanovs. Well, that sounds reasonable. Let's dance and sing again. Everyone, please live! No! What? Consequences? Inconceivable! Nail them! <laughs> Wordplay. I know it seems like I'm rushing this, but I have a 15 minute window to reiterate a two hour nut fest of insanity and class. Just take my word for this plot, okay? Essentially, we continue to hop from cameo to cameo to overcompensate the old band and forge a new one. Also, there's this. 
talk straight with me, Matt Murphy. I always do. And you treat me with respect at all times. I do, baby. And you know what I mean when I say respect. You know, I'm not actually sure if I do anymore. C could you run it by me again? I, I feel this exact sequence transpires every day she gets off from lunch. Look at these background extras. They're completely unfazed. They acquire a trumpet player by disrespecting the recently deceased. And of course, putting his life in the line of fire by over 25 stormtroopers. And they get some other guy from a love line Broadway musical telemarketing, uh... Establishment followed by <laughs> You know I'm not gonna explain this part. I'll let you stay up at night wondering about this. I think they've got enough people now. Meaning we can proceed to the main event! 60 minutes from now! But how are we gonna fill up all the spare time? <laughs> it's a Blues Brothers movie! The sky's the limit! So, car chase? Car chase! Oh yeah! I have every lawman in two states on this border. In an unrelated coincidence, crime rates spiked tremendously that day. Well, good to know there's absolutely no possible way a car could pass borders other than this bridge. Oh, wait! They see me rolling, they hate it. How long can you hold your breath? I give you five seconds before your engine and passenger seat flood. Kids don't float, guys. Trust me, I've played enough PlayStation 2 games to know how dangerous water is. Something's missing. I, I feel like we're missing something still. Character development? No. Credible motivation? No. A less complicated... <laughs> You're just purposely avoiding it now. <sighs> Confederates. Thank you! But no one knows we're here. No one knows our plans. Ah, do you son of a gun! Wait, huh, who's that? America, heck yeah! Coming again to save the mother of the day, yeah! America, heck yeah! Freedom is the only way, yeah! Confederates, your game is through! Cause now you have to answer to! Great, everyone showed up for their big performance. Everyone being the police department, the Russian mob, and people who probably just came here to see the monster trucks. Maybe we ought to skip this gig and move on to the next one, huh? That would be unprofessional. Holy spicy Jesus! This is all kinds of wrong! What kind of movie did I sign up for? Ghost Riders in the Sky Oh yeah! That kind! Not gonna lie, that was pretty awesome. Also, their $500 cop car is also remote controlled, allowing them to get away. Wh who's questioning? I'm not questioning. You're the one questioning. I'm not gonna pretend like I've got all the answers. They run out of gas five miles out from their final destination, and everyone's all like, No! Five whole miles? After all we've been through to get this far, that brisk walk will surely kill us all. I say we all go back to Egypt. You may go if you wish. Remember this. Walk away now and you walk away from your crafts, your skills, your vocations, leaving the next generation with nothing but recycled, digitally sampled techno grooves, quasi-synth rhythms, pseudo-songs of violence-laden gangster rap, acid pop and simpering saccharine soulless slush. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we done lost that war by 2015. Turn your backs now and you snuff out the fragile candles of blues, R&B, and soul. Preach! And when those flames flicker and expire, the light of the world is extinguished. Revival! Because the music which has moved mankind through seven decades leading to the millennium will wither and die. Take him to church, Mr. Blues! Oh, I guess we are going to church. Nothing quite gets the word of God across like, uh, uh... Raving! That, that That's what I always say. Those men are criminals and they're under arrest. 
Oh no, it's the poo poo! <laughs> Run to your spirit bombs! Really? Really? Stop it! Absolutely, completely, positively understand! Then by all means, enlighten me, magic man! Would someone, anyone, like to inform me what kind of crazy crap just went down in this Iowa tent revival? I'm not settling for this! Yes, 911, this is an emergency! I need answers! We're on it, Jasper. <sighs> My jimmies are endlessly rustled. Hello? Yes, 911 caller, this is 911. We have an emergency! Uh... I don't think it works like that. So, uh, what, what, what seems to be your emergency, 911? We're smack dab in the center of the largest massacre of law enforcement in American history. J Jasper, hey, me. I'm on the phone. Could you? I, I'm, I'm so sorry, man. That sounds awful. And, and how does that make you feel? Ah, my leg! My leg! The world is burning! Everything burns, Jasper! Wrong number! So, okay, what was the big idea with that anyways? Can't you see how much- No, I, I need you to look at the screen. Yeah, I've been having a conversation. Who cares? It's okay, no, I'm talking to you! I-, I just, uh, Totally yeah. rude! What you just did there! Everyone's done! No, but this scene! <laughs> Urge to sing Crocodile Rock intensifies. Battle of the Bands audition in a spooky 17th century mansion. Can you even? Because I can't even. Queen Musette will receive you now. Oh, hold on to your cosplay wigs. We're in for a show tonight. Where's your instruments, boys? It's like you're putting up your dukes in a knife and gun fight. Your instruments aren't just going to magically show up out of thin air. I, uh... I, I feel so foolish right now. You know, the only thing that would make this any weirder is if they all turned into anorexic hulks. I'm gonna stop talking now. I wouldn't even be mad if this was the thriller, but this is not the thriller, so I am mad. They probably are too, that's why they're hulks. Wait a minute, the judge can't join this thing. This is an audition. This is all kinds of wrong. Did they pass? You pass. Groovy. To the time lapse mobile. Na 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 time lapse. Introducing the cameo band with Eric Flippin Clapton and the gorilla and Einstein and this guy. What kind of a business are they running here? That's kind of how I feel every five minutes of watching this movie. You know, I would love to see President Kanye try and pull off a performance this good. Oh crap, what about all the loose ends? Distract the audience! Give them some sort of collaboration song! Hey, 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 yeah. Turn them all the mice! That was so sloppy. They're here for the music, they won't even know the difference. Reality check! I knew the difference! I have been hiding a deep and terrible secret from you all. You wear socks under your sandals? I have never seen the actual Blues Brothers movie. 
What what are you? Some kind of tasteless, uncultured swine? I'll have you know I gave this 2000 version a fair fighting chance. I was not reviewing it as a sequel, I was reviewing it as a standalone. Therefore, making my review unbiased. And completely uneducated. And I'll have you know, I found this movie. Hilarious! It was incredibly stupid, didn't give a flying crap about a linear plot of characters, and every music sequence was brutally shoehorned in. Unbelievably fun! Will it turn out to be a total gag fest if I ever see the first one? No, oh, most certainly. But that is not what I came here to debate. Scene. I know what you may be asking yourself. I'll have you know if I don't show YouTube how to rock a proper tricorn, no one else will. And that is my excuse I'm sticking with today. If you liked what you saw on the show today, please hit the subscribe button down below. And leave your own comments as well so you can see your favorite movie store to shreds. So probably don't make them your favorite ones. And to all my fellow masochists out there, I will see you next time.